Greetings people of the world, people of the internet, welcome back to another video, Street Fighter 5, I'll be your host A1 Major. Continuing on in the series of survival mode videos, uh, the next character is Bison. I will give you death. Yeah, I'm not too fond of his story mode outfit. So Psycho Inferno. Uh, this pretty much ruins the AI. And you can just get by with doing this in combos, in block strings. And that's pretty much it. The biggest issue I have with clearing survival mode with Bison is landing the first hit. If I land a hit, the round should be over. That's pretty much it. High Punch Inferno. It just... I don't know what it is, but it just ruins the AI something. So combos that I use, and okay, so before I explain combos, and I think if the reason is the startup, the startup on the Inferno after your block strings is that great that the AI wants to do something, but then ends up getting hit by the Inferno because it doesn't react fast enough. Um, there's only like a Chun Li is probably the only character in the game that may try to punish it with a crouching jab, and that's if you do if your jump in is like point blank range. So if your inferno that you're doing is right next to it, maybe Let my beauty that's the you. only character that does it. And if any other, um, that's the only time I ever see it. Happen. So that's the reason. Um, but. Why, um, why I say High Punch Inferno is because that's the one that does it. So let's say you get a hit confirm, you should always end your combo in Medium Inferno or EX Inferno. But if they're blocking, just go for um, High Punch Inferno every time and no matter what, they'll always not block. Well, not always, but maybe 99% of the time they will not block. So, the combos that I use uh, gen in general, um, I will jump, and if I know I'm going to cross up, I'll use jumping forward, like medium. Then, from there, the combo is standing strong, crouching strong, inferno. So, if they block this entire thing, just go into high punch inferno. Uh, if you have meter, end it in the X inferno. Um, if you get a jump in with a jumping roundhouse, just go standing fierce, high punch inferno. Or you can do the or you can do the stand strong, crouch strong inferno if you want. Um, as soon as the inferno hits, just jump again. If they quick rise, just go into your block string and loop it again. If they don't quick rise, jump again and hit forward so you cross them up and then go into the stand strong, crouch strong loop. And that's pretty much how the fight should go. They all just jump. But I try and close the gap every time. Um, if you're having trouble jumping uh, to close the gap to find an opening, because I would suggest, considering how crazy this loop is, you can expend a lot of your health just trying to get that first hit, because that's all you need. Um, if you're having a hard time getting that hit or jumping, I suggest just standing at standing fierce in that range and just hitting wind. that and then going into Remember the inferno. Because, well. like I said, whether it's blocked or not, um, right. it'll always knock down. So, for instance, I just do that. Then you can just walk there. And just keep doing that over and over again. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. And it really makes um, survival mode look completely stupid. Um, yeah, so the basic prob the basic thing that will prevent you from clearing survival mode is not is not successful, not necessarily having a successful hit, but as long as you force them to either take a hit on block or take a hit cleanly, that's all you really need. Once you get that, the round should really be over because then you can just always just jump in and keep going on with the combo over and over again. Like this, you just keep going. Uh, 
Um, so I'll just go over some of the basics that I'll go over in every mode. Um, every every time I do a character, just in case people don't necessarily watch every single survival mode video, or if people just don't in general. Um, in regards to battle supplements, um, stand in my way. I will kill you. I use for the first, again. This is very loosely based. This is just a guideline for me, so I know what to stick to. That way, I don't get carried away or do things that I shouldn't be doing. And um, for the first ten characters, I will use attack power. Um, I don't think that survival mode is difficult enough for the first 10 characters for it to be a worry that even if I lose health I'm still not worried even if I've only got like 5% health left I'm too stubborn because even if I lose survival it shouldn't have gotten to that stage anyway but um, from then on I'll continue using attack power supplements but I'll start using health recovery supplements if I have um, so from from stage 10 to 30, if I have 25% or below, I will use I'll use a, a health recovery supplement. Um, from 30 to 40, 30% uh, and below, and from 40 to 50, um, I generally try not to let it get below 50%, but it's how I feel and how how it's going. I might usually just use um, health recovery even if I've only lost 20% because it's better dealing with that character with full health because it might take me a while to get in. But otherwise, yeah that's pretty much the general idea. And because of how easy survival mode is uh, with Bison because of this um, High Punch Inferno thing. Um, my health generally doesn't get low, so I don't get to use Trigger. Uh, uh, Psycho Power, the, his V Trigger. Um, so even if I do get hit, I save it for V Reversal because obviously outside of Critical Art, um, Bison doesn't have any reversals. So I save it for V Reversal. Um, same thing as with Kami and Nash, you save your meter for whatever you feel like using it on. And the reason I say that is, you might be doing later on, they might block every single jump in an attack and always just get hit solely by the Inferno. So, you using EX Inferno is a waste because they'll guard it. And you can blindly mash Critical Art on the end of any High Punch Inferno if they've blocked the previous hits of your combo because they always get hit by the Inferno so that's a viable thing to do um, see she blocked the strength and got hit by the Inferno Um, there's a... So, there's character blocks and of uh, difficulties, difficulty that I see in some, in some characters. And that is, um... So, the first slot is, um, stage 13, 14, 15, which is... Ryu, Ice and Chun-Li. It's sort of difficult and those characters can be a bit of a problem. It's the first time you have to really be um, careful about your approach and they do show signs of being crazy. Like sometimes that Ryu can pop V-Trigger and start doing not complete combos but it shows you signs of what would happen when you fight Ryu later on in survival. Same with Bison, and Trin Lee just likes to frame trap a lot, so you have to be careful there. Uh, the next block after that, 
So here we go, this is where the Ryu starts. And you can also bait him to do sure you can if you jump over him. Um, but that's not as easy as it sounds. Um, the next character block is when you get to 25. And that is basically when you... Uh, it's all the female characters in a row. And so it starts off with Karin, then it's Mika. Kami, Laura, and Chun Li. Then you have Vega after, which again can go air throw happy and do other stuff. Um, after that, uh, Bison at 33. I uh, usually where my runs used to uh, end because I just never respected uh, his pressure. Um, and then after that it moderately starts to stay hard and starts to pick up a bit towards the end of the, the, the 30 stage mark so but once you hit 40 that's where it really gets where it really is brutal and you have to really be um, paying attention to what's happening um, I find that there are Six characters for me personally that um, I'm a bit worried about whenever I play survival, especially towards the end of the game. And that is uh, the first character in that list is Karen. And that's because if you don't pay attention, the AI will do odd frame traps, and if you try and hit buttons at the wrong times. Um, you won't necessarily eat combos, but all these stray hits will add up, and then you'll wonder where your health went. Not to mention she does that um, overhead special. I still don't know why I don't know it. Um, but that one where she just jumps over. Um, and, uh, and if she ever ends, if she ever does a combo and ends it up with the Mujin kick, uh, she'll do the medium one. Trying to score a free sneaky overhead. So I wouldn't let that fly. With me, I would just hit jab or strong, especially with bison. I'd just do something to stop it. Um, I wouldn't let that be a free hit for her. Uh, next character on that list is Ken. And that's mainly because I feel Ken re is reading inputs. And getting sure you can or just hitting a button and sometimes you'll get sure you can on your wake up because you might try and uh, do a reversal or do something on your wake up to prevent him from being all over you. Um, Ken's really good at doing crazy combos with sure you can but the problem is uh, eventually over time Ken gives up offense and backs up so you get a chance to attack. Uh, the next character is Bison, and that's simply because if you don't respect scissor kick pressure, you will eat fat damage. But what I, um, the biggest problem, the, the biggest thing that lets Bison down is after you block scissor, um, you can just hit a button to force the AI to do something. And the best thing to do with Bison when you play Bison is to do crouching strong into Inferno. That way you can just resume your offense. Not to mention you have to be worried that if you get Bison low enough to help, Bison will do these three combos and if Bison has an eater, you do have to worry about a lot of damage. And the AI will do them. Um, uh, if you ever blocking scissor kicks and you really don't want to deal with that pressure, if you've taken enough damage, just be reversal and get out. It's pretty much the best thing to do. Stop the pressure. The next three characters are just as annoying, but the problem is they have command grabs. So the first one is Birdie. Uh, so Birdie does presses pretty good buttons at weird ranges. So if you're not paying attention, you may get hit by like crouching 
forward, that long range kick that he's got, or by the standing fierce, which is that massive um, double handed, uh, the double handed um, axe, axe chop thing that he does. Um, not to mention, you could get command grabbed if you're just sitting there, or by the dolphin, the dolphin diving grab. So you have to really be paying attention to that. And also, like Bison, it will convert to full V trigger combos. And if you're in the corner, watch out. Uh, the last two characters, uh, Mika and Aura. And as you can tell, those characters, even for match play, it's really guessing. The AI has a good way of um, mixing up. You might, you might want to get out of there, and during your jump frames, get hit by an attack. Which will just convert that into Peach. Or just command grab you, so you need to be patient. Uh, the good thing about fighting uh, Mika though is she doesn't ant here as much as Laura, so you can jump in on her. But every once in a while you have to be worried about the, I think it's the wingless aeroplane, I think it's that one, the anti air command grab. She'll do the EX one, so be, be wary. Now, what makes Laura so annoying and why I put her number one? is crush counter combos while you're blocking so you have to respect pressure especially when she does bolt because that move is plus so if you try and do anything the AI knows this and every now and then sticks out a crush counter button and converts into bolt into the command grab into left and sometimes if you sit there you'll just get command grab now Against everyone, you can sit there and block if you're having a hard time. Your grey life will start to accumulate, but it's still better than getting frame trapped. So, even if you take a command grab, it's still better than getting hit by a combo. So, you can guard all day, and that's fine. And if you've been taken, and if you're taking enough hits, you feel tough enough V gauge to be able to do reversal. So, I wouldn't say it's a an issue, but those characters can be a pain, so just keep that in mind when you play against them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, Laura really gives me trouble um, if I let her. Not to mention, more often than not, she will anti-air grab you if you jump, just um, roar without, without having knocked her down to begin with. So yeah, that character is a pain, Ready. pain to deal with. Fight. As you can see, it's doing a lot of damage. Um, I'm not sure what it's like for everyone else, but. Um, I'm not too worried about paying attention to survival mode hard until you get to about stage 25. That's where I feel survival mode actually starts to get hard and you have to pay attention. But again, I'm not sure what it's like for everyone else. And considering the amount of um, comments I've seen from people, uh, this isn't a straightforward thing for most people. So I guess it's not. They probably find it the earlier levels. The earlier stage is a lot more difficult. But here we go. This is the first block of um, difficulty, which is all the females. Not not too crazy just yet, but Karen at. It's current in the 30 block that I'm most annoyed at, but here it can still be a problem. Especially if you're not paying attention. But as you can see, every time she blocked it, the Inferno, always guaranteed. Probably a few times where it's not, but it's just too easy of a, of a thing to do. I would say if you have a spare 30 to 40 minutes and you want to grind out fight money and want some colors, 
this would be the best thing to do. Um, one of the easiest things to do outside of doing that sure you can thing that I've heard uh, people have done using them. And this is the second character that I actually completed in um, Extreme Survival Mode with because of this trick. It also made Extreme Survival look kind of silly as well. Now to prevent getting anti aid against Kami, uh, I would suggest just doing a neutral jump. Or standing back and doing standing fear center inferno when she walks forward. So not don't jump towards her, just neutral jump. Yep, straightforward. You weak, pathetic and weak. Actually would suggest just neutral jumping the rest of the rest of this block even Vega. I wouldn't suggest jumping at Vega simply because there's a good chance he'll air throw you and I won't take that chance. The same thing against Nash but because Nash is a pushover I'll actually take that chance against him because the rest of Nash's AI is actually quite silly. You can just jump in all day. Very straightforward. Normally I'd be a bit worried if it was any other character, but no. Okay. Naturally. The one character that will try and um, punish the Inferno. There we go, just as I said it. But that's it, it's just the one punish. I'll take that, I'll take the damage from that any day. Yep, I'll do four. Since attack power isn't like at two or three, we'll do four health recovery here. Okay. But yeah, we'll take our chances. I'll just jump towards Nash, see what happens. Attack power. But yeah, even if I do get air thrown, I'm not worried. But even so, the damage is still not coming from straight up Inferno. There's only been a few characters that have blocked my combos, but this is still really good because this means it's a faster victory if they're just getting hit by the combos themselves. Well, it's going to be perfect. 
Oh yeah, the other thing about Bison that makes him difficult is the preemptive anti -ears. Um Sometimes you might try and jump in, and you'll just get anti it over and over again, so... We'll see what happens. Oh. Um, wow, just like that, huh? Okay. Well, three perfects in a row. With this lady. I'll take that. <clears throat> mm, birdie. This birdie starts to show signs of trying to anti air, uh, do odd things, so. This happens. Yep, beat the perfect's going then. See how many in a row I can get. Just as I say that, Ken starts to go crazy. Against Ken, I neutral jump. Um, you can jump against him. Surprisingly, one of the few characters that doesn't try and show you can just instantly. But we'll anti air you with odd buttons, so. I'll still neutral jump. See how that goes. There we go. Standing forward as an anti. -air. So it's all over now. I had a feeling about that. Sure you can. Still going really smoothly though. Sometimes getting in on this Dowsim is really, really tough. Um, number of things that can happen. Uh, you'll get back this as a crush counter and out of the air. You'll try and jump. Do something anyway. Ah, oh, crap, I'm strong this time. Didn't work. Oh well, poor Dowsim. Wow, he blocked it for us. Nope, not blocking anymore. See, there's always that one instance where they don't block it. More attack powers, please. I've got enough health to not have to worry about that. Again, more neutral jump against Kami. This should do a lot. It doesn't have much health. Ooh. Nasty. Yep. Never do it. Oh yeah, that's right. Nash is next. Yep. Always go to jump. Oh yeah, Rashid. Every once in a while, I'll try it. He'll do a mixer, spinning mixer as an end here. But hardly. Let's see if he does this time. Right. Nope. He tried to jump. Current to end up this block. Yep, not 
disrupting all of Yep. Eventually gave up. Going really well. Okay. Now showtime. Let's see what Ryu's got for me. There's a good chance that I'll take more damage starting now. But that could also be good. Oh, it didn't combat. That's still not too bad. V-trigger, yeah. As I was saying. This block here is my one of my most feared ones. The Laura. Birdie, Mika, Gee, Birdie. So all the characters that I said that I wasn't too confident. V-reversal, pops the stuff and then just go in. Weak, and weak. Go for a health, health recovery. It's been a while since I picked one. Ah good, now I got full health. Now birdie. Ready. Can get anti here, Fight. but still try and jump. Nope, he jumped at me. Good. Find that jump trick. Wow, that got him just before he got the anti area out. That's good. Good, now we can do use uh, attack power supplement on Nika. Yep. Good. Hopefully this isn't too bad. A neutral jump. Wow, she tried to stop it. Larry, it actually worked. But still got hit by the inferno, see, so. Like, not even the characters that have invincible reversals do them there, so... What am I to worry about? Indeed. Standing roundhouse as a crush counter is the only thing to be worried about, but... Nope. Not happening. Now that's good. Can you use attack power supplement on Birdie as well? Almost there. Only five characters to go. Use a critical art early. No. Oh, block. Yeah. Should have kept blocking. Damn it. Yep. Yeah. You guys should have just kept blocking. 
Let me just re reversal. Got too antsy. Okay. Ah, full health recovery. I'm really lucky today. Normally I only get low. So far in most of the videos I've recorded, I usually get... Let my beauty I'm be getting like pretty decent health when I've needed it. Alright, neutral jump. Block forever. Pretty interesting. They're blocking more. Try it. Proving my proving my theory down. Or maybe it's just because it's the end of survival, who knows? Fight. Oh, I need two more characters to go. But yeah, as you can see, even if they block the Inferno, you just do High Punch Inferno. Just keep doing it over and over again. It's not like you get any retaliation anyway. Alright. See what Vice is capable of. Break the end here. Nope. That's a first. I've never seen Bison actually try and attack me during this. Always a third. Yep. The reversal and then go back in for the kill. You're weak, pathetic and weak. Okay, attack power three. Even though I've got below her um, half health, but. I'm pretty confident that's why I'll do it. I didn't expect it to do that much. There we have it. Swab mode complete. With Bison. Using a pretty easy AI exploit with the Inferno. Wow, oh, that's that was a pretty quick time. But anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, let me know. As always, you can follow the channel. You can subscribe. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to see, if you've got any questions, just let me know. And my next video in the list, I'm not entirely sure who's next on the list. I wonder. Um, yeah, I'm not, I can't remember who's next on the list. But anyway, I will be back um, with another video of survival after this. And until then, I'll catch you all later. Peace out, guys.